हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर संतोष कुमार ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन बेस्ड हियर इन कोलकाता द कल्चरल हब ऑफ इंडिया एंड द कल्चरल कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया वी हैव मेड सेवरल अदर वीडियोस बिफोर दिस इन विच वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट स्पेशली हिप एंड नी रिप्लेसमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्रेसिजन द रोल ऑफ प्रेसिजन इन जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट वेल a uh, lot of people come and ask me that i want a joint replacement i want the knee of this this and this company i want the knee of this company i want the knee of this company people think that they have to choose the knee and the knee of knee uh, the best knee will get the best results well uh, people think that they have to choose a brand and uh, the brand will get the best results well it's not like that of course the knee that we use that we have been using and that we continue to use they are all international knees they are all international uh, knees with uh, long term follow up but it's not something like that that you uh, get a knee of brand xyz and that is better than knee of brand abc it's not like that so it's not something like that that you go uh, you choose the brand and then the results depend on that it's not like that well joint replacement whether it be hip replacement knee replacement or any other joint replacement uh is a work of precision it's the mechanics is the physics that matters over there is the millimeters the balancing the the balanced forces that are acting there is the sizing is the placement of the implant that matters is the millimeters and the degrees that matter so precision is of utmost importance and hence the most important thing is the surgeon surgical expertise uh, there is no other option than the surgical expertise and the precision we started being more and more precise with the conventional instruments that is known as the manual instruments and then we kept on searching for better precision better precision to decrease the human error it's all to decrease the human error and along with that uh, we kept on searching for better cementation techniques in knee replacement the implants are mostly cemented they are put with they are put on the bones with a dowy material called cement bone cement and the bone cement this dowy material sets within 10 to 12 minutes and it gives a complete hard and rock fit foundation for the uh, implants well this dowy cement it it is gained out of mixing of a powder and a liquid and this cement itself has evolved the longevity of the implant to a considerable extent also depends on the cementation technique the quality of cementation technique along with the precision which is the single most important thing so uh, the cementation technique has also gradually improved we in initial days we had started with low viscosity cement then we came medium viscosity cement and pre presently we are using the high viscosity cement so high viscosity cement gives better results along with that we have been using something called vacuum assisted cementation techniques the conventional in, uh, cementation technique the cement the liquid and the powder were mixed in the atmosphere and we used to get the dowy material presently we are mix mixing it in a vacuum environment created uh, by a machine and it's mixed there so that there is no air, there is no air that enters the cement and the mixing is complete and the dowy dowiness and the quality of the cement is improved in that way that is known as vacuum assisted cement mixing so we have been using that to increase the survivorship of the implant why we need to increase the survivorship of the implant because the now even younger people have to undergo joint replacement and uh, the level of activities after joint replacement are increasing so people are walking cycling swimming driving going for trekking everything after joint replacement so that's why we need better cementation technique better precision and better survivorship of the implants so as far as precision is concerned the surgical expertise is the single most important thing which we had discussed there is no alternative to that surgical expertise and we had started with the conventional instruments in which the bone cut sizing everything was done by conventional instruments the millimeters and the degrees were read by the human eyes that to a considerable extent gave a good result but the search for improvement doesn't end here we went on to uh, computer assisted uh, joint replacement which is known as navigation so we had started computer assisted joint replacement uh, here in kolkata in 2012 13 we used the navigation system called ortho pilot which gave gave us much precise results and decreased the chance of human error and that's uh, something very important so we got very good results with navigation 
we also uh, meanwhile came up with personalized instrumentation which is known as PSI patient specific instrumentation what it means is scan the knee of an individual uh, through a CT scan or MRI and then we create we according to the plans we create instruments which just sit on the bones and cut this many millimeters this many millimeters this uh, this is the sizing and everything is done before surgery itself so that is known as PSI or patient specific instrumentation along with that we try to get more and more personalized fit of the implants presently we have uh, the persona knee in which there are multiple multiple options in millimeters in uh, to get most personalized fit as far as the implant is concerned so that can be ca called almost a custom fit of the implants custom fit implants personalized fit implants that's a very beautiful concept and that's that's the persona knee along with that to get better results we have been using lcs knees low contact stress knees in which the area of contact with the surfaces throughout the range of movement is maximized so that the stress is minimized force by area if area is maximized the stress is minimized that is known as lcs knee we have been using rotating platform knees rotating platform lcs knees for better movement for better natural feeling and more survivorship of the implant search for improvement the improvement doesn't end here we have gone one step further which is known as the robotic knee replacement or robotic uh, joint replacement well robotic is one step further than navigation it starts with navigation and then in navigation surgeon used to put the instruments guided by the computer and then used to perform the surgery initially navigation is done and then instead of uh, surgeon himself performing the uh, surgery is the robotic arm is the robotic arm which is performing the bone cuts and that is precisely according to as planned by the surgeon so robot is still an instrument of the surgeon robot doesn't do surgery on itself it's it completely does follows whatever the surgeon has planned so robot is still an robotic arm is still an instrument of the surgeon it cannot do surgeries independently so according to the planning uh, the robotic arm does the surgery robot came in three evolutionary evolutions first was the passive robot which was to be in which the robotic arm was held by the surgeon and then it was a burring and milling system that was used and then uh, once the desired amount of milling was done the, uh, the burr would withdraw itself so that's passive navigation passive robotic arm and then we have semi-active in which the robotic arm places the instruments or holds the saw of the surgeon and then surgeon fires the saw so that is semi-active and presently we have what we have got here uh, in Kolkata is fully active and automatic robotic arm that means we do the CT scan and we do the planning and we navigate the bones once the exposure is done and then the whole thing is the preparation of the bones for the implant the choice the sizing of the implants the rotation the placement of the implants every balancing balancing everything is done by the robotic arm so that decreases the chances of human error significantly there is no chances of uh, human error and there is sub millimetric precision uh, what it means is uh, like human eyes can go up to one or two millimeters cannot distinguish uh, points closer than one millimeter so this gives but this uh, distinguishes points less than one tenth of a millimeter so that is sub millimetric precision that we get in this robotic arm and what we have got is fully active robotic arm this is our robot it has a, a navigation unit and then it has a robotic arm the robotic arm is a highly flexible milling unit which performs the surgery based on the planning that we would have done so the good thing is that our robots is fully active robot it's a fully active robot and this is the robotic arm this is the robotic arm and uh, it is highly flexible and it performs the milling the bone preparation on its own based on the uh, instruction given by the planning on the CT scan so it is sub millimetric accuracy and it is flexible it is fully active it is fully active and still it follows the surgeon's uh, instructions to less than one tenth of a millimeter so it makes things very accurate precise it is minimally invasive there is much less uh, blood loss the recovery is fast the pain is much less and the safety is enhanced like anything so before the surgery itself we know the size of the implants that are going to be used the safety is enhanced like anything because there is no human error 
and the placement of implants, the performance and the survivorship of the implant is improved. We are proud and happy to announce that we have got the world's first fully active and automatic robot right here in Kolkata with our uh, team and uh, we will be happy to serve you. Well, as far as uh, the common query that most of us uh, thinks, most of us uh, tend to think that if something better is there, then the cost would also increase. Well, there will be marginal, there may be marginal increase in cost because there will be some disposable things that will be used. There is no significant increase in cost and it has been our endeavor to uh, provide the world's best, the world's safest, the world's most advanced at the masses, to the masses of our Eastern Indian pe people and to the country and the adjoining countries as a whole. And we welcome uh, all of you who do need knee replacement, come to us and get the world's best, safest and most predictable by our active robotic arm joint replacement knee replacement system. If you have any query, kindly mail me at santdr at gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me at 628996271. I repeat the WhatsApp number once more, 628996271. Thank you.